So, yo, my people, for those of you tuning in, we got we, we doing the whole startup like we do it. What we rolling through it? Yo. Yeah, yeah, but we we my started. People, <laughs> nothing changed. What up, what up, yo? <laughs> <laughs> another live episode of All Black Men Need Therapy. My name is Chief. My name is Prentice, and Bell ain't here right now. <laughs> but so we asked the, the homie player partner to step in. Please introduce yeah, yourself. Yeah, man, we got we got to greeting, we got to acknowledge greeting. this brother just just shortly and real quick, man. You know, like we just met this man recently. Uh, y'all may have seen, you know, uh, he he had a wonderful achievement that I'll let him let y'all know about. Uh, but this is our man Russell, man. That's that's our man Russell right here. Yeah, Russell. You know? I had to Google that shit because I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> but I was like hella impressed. But go ahead, drop you know. Nah, appreciate y'all, man. A lot of people, you know, they see me everywhere. Uh, my name is Dr. Russell Lede. Um, I hail from New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh, the I'm doctor, the whole. Let's go. Stop playing. <laughs> y'all know we out here making sure black men feel proud of themselves. And yeah. uh, I'm happy to be on the pod, man. I'm, you know, only black man to match it to Triple Boy. So I'm going to be a pediatrician, adult psychiatrist, and child and adolescent psychiatrist. We applying pressure, baby. We yeah, applying I thought I was, pressure. I thought I was doing something my little undergrad and child psych. <laughs> <out here. laughs> hey, I went to college. You know, so I went. <laughs> I, was there. I went to college. Yo, that's what's up, man. Yo, super congratulations to you. And just, we're going to, Russ is going to step on, excuse me. Dr. Lede is going to be on the podcast. We're going to have a different conversation later on. But right now, we got to talk about it, y'all. Um, we act, The cool part is our, our faithful followers have been tapping in. Like, yo, we, yo, why ain't y'all talking about Will Smith? Why ain't y'all talking about Will Smith? So we brought in the good doctor to kind of, you know, help us bring it all together. So, honestly, fellas, I haven't, I haven't formulated my own opinion about it. I'm keeping it real. I've been trying to process it from the perspectives of various people that I've seen online, you know, for the next, for the past two days, it's been nothing but videos, and, and, comments, And just so, my bad, Chief, just so y'all folks know, we talk about Will Smith and Chris Rock. They, they know. They know. <laughs> so, I don't know if y'all have any, you know, personal perspectives about it that you want to share, but I got a bunch of comments I want to read, like, one by one, and we can kind of dissect them and just give our perspective on that. We don't have to voice our opinions because, you know, we ain't, we ain't trying to not talk no brother. No, that's not I, what I we do. do. I think we could do both successfully, though. I, I do, I do, I do agree with that because there's hella jokes going around, and some of them shits is real funny. But the, we ain't, we ain't trying to do it. But yo, some of the jokes is hella funny. But I, you know what I'm saying? We want to we want to look at this from a from a sincere, quote unquote, therapeutic perspective. So let's make sure. Right. Let's take a dive at it and see and see what it is. So do y'all have anything? initially from your personal perspective, your personal opinion you want to share about the situation? I'm just going to say out the gate that I don't know either of those men personally. Um, and because I don't know them personally, I don't think my opinion is worth $10. Um, and I think that's important to set at the outset. I think I, I like to have a conversation about the larger context of what this means uh, for black men. Um, and our communication between one another. Um, and I think that's really where my headspace is now. So I'm really just imagining and thinking about and really processing what is the conversation between a black king and a black king look like? What mm -hmm. is that supposed to look like? And, we, and when did we go awry? Okay. So let me, let me, let me throw the scenario on you fellas then. You're in, you're in Mr. Smith's shoes. Your lady sitting there. The whole situation. How do you respond? You, you know, I don't think it's that. Let's go. With, let's start with your. Let's start with your angry ass first. How do you it, respond? It, <laughs> it ain't. It ain't that simple in this. In this circumstance, you know what I'm saying? How like, so? how I would respond versus how he would respond. I can't tell you because I don't know what the fuck he was feeling. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know right. he was going through some shit. So I can't. I, I can't. But print to that I point. People are. People are kind of losing track of this shit. You know what I mean? We start getting into to the, the personal opinion and, and this and that, but nobody's talking about these motherfuckers. This is an unhealthy ass behavior. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit is normalized for us, but it's not healthy. And everybody wanna talk about Big you know, the, the the gossip and all that shit, but this shit is not fucking healthy. You know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to get cats to realize like I feel like if we me and Russell was talking about this shit yesterday morning, I called him on the phone. I feel like this is one of the perfect opportunities for us as black men to choose up, right? 
to to actually choose not to make a joke out of it as a priority yeah. and talk yeah. about the mental health portion. Like we have right. a, a huge opportunity right now to flip the whole conversation if we would just stop taking shit like this is a joke. And yep. we laugh at this shit, but all of us have been broken like this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like all of us have yep. been broken to that point before. Yep. So, so to why your, is yep. our first instinct for it to be fucking funny and make so jokes your, and not really look at what's going on and not look at yeah. how that shit was allowed to be filmed and not look at how he was allowed to walk off stage because of yeah. who he is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so yeah. I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm that's my perspective on the thing rather than what I would have done. It's more so like what does this shit really mean and represent on all the layers? You know what I'm saying? From, and and there, from, but my thing is this, because we don't know what he's going through, because we don't know the situation, the relationship between he and Chris Rock, Jada and Chris Rock and all that, we have to, we have to go based off of what, you know, what limited information we do have. So I was doing right. some research. I'm like, I guess I can't call it research. I was scrolling through social media and I was just observing a bunch of people's perspectives. And there's several of them that I have and I, I can't, I, I haven't formulated my own opinion because I don't, again, I don't know what he's going through. So I'm, I feel, you know, it's not my place to really quote unquote judge him. So I'm going to I'm gonna throw something at y'all. I want, I want to just hear your response to it. One of the first things I saw, I said, I'm sorry, but we love a man who can handle business when necessary and not break a sweat and do it all in a three piece suit. What does that mean? Like, like, I'm still trying to process what does that mean? I think we had these projections of what protecting the black woman means like we had these like we had these like really imaginative ideas of what protecting a black woman mean we need to process like what does that actually mean for, mm -hmm. for me i've been i've been married for almost 16 years now protecting my wife is not me acting a fool my wife will be the first one to tell me if you act a fool and we lose the bag that we already got then you're not protecting me. What you're actually doing is, is, is hurting our kids and hurting our future and hurting our legacy. <clears throat> this thing, whatever this is, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words may never hurt me. Like, there was some value in that. Like, there was some serious value in that really small, in that small romp. There are people saying crazy things about you right now, Chief and Prentice, that you ain't never heard before in rooms right now. You think you're going to run up and slap everybody you find? You're not going to do that. No, that People ain't how it talk, works. Listen, everybody with melanin got somebody in some room somewhere saying something crazy about them <clears> right <throat> now that they can't do nothing about. I'm not saying that the words don't hurt you, but I'm saying the, the, the actions after those words will definitely destroy you. If you choose the wrong thing, listen, homies in the hood go to jail for life behind these kinds of things. Let's just understand okay. something. Let's just understand something. Something that nobody talking about. Will operated in privilege at the Oscars. For sure. There's no black man from any corner in Southside Chicago could walk up to somebody at the Oscars, slap them like they ain't like they stole some, and get away with it. They, they not even gonna make it on the stage. They not gonna make it on the stage. He operating in privilege. Let's just get that out of the way. He the only person I know could get up, and slap somebody in front of everybody, and then don't nothing happen to him. So, so, so I heard you say a moment ago, you referenced how your wife is, is, is trying to, you know, convince you to cool out to protect that bag. So I'm going to read something. It's a little bit, a little lengthy, but I want to read it. And one of the comments from a black woman, I didn't, I don't want to use the name, but it was from a black woman. She said, I just wish Jada would have reached out and grabbed Will's arm before he went on that stage and to protect him as well. She never protects him. She could have used her power as, as his wife to calm him down before things got to that point. Not because she wouldn't have wanted to be defended and protected by her man, as we all do, but because her role as a wife is to protect the heart of her man as well. In recent years, and perhaps throughout the whole marriage, for all we know, because we only know what they show, she's recently done that. She, recently, she has really not done that well. Marriage is a two-way street, or should be. She's been taunting this man for some time through her own actions and entanglements. The humiliation, embarrassment, shame, guilt, disdain, and disappointment in himself that he will that he will now yet again have to endure after at her expense, while uh, while noble may prove to be a very detrimental breaking point for an already mentally and emotionally vulnerable man, and that is extremely evident that night. I'm worried about him and the after effect of all of this. Russell, go ahead, man. Yeah, P, I you know I was on a conversation with my manager um, and a brand strategist yesterday. And my manager, I think, has read Will's book already. Um, 
And in Will's book, he talk about how he, like, he has some stuff that he's still dealing with. Mm -hmm. And I mean, if you put that in context with, like, the Red Table where they were talking about August Alcina, um, you, you, you really put it in the context, like, all of the memes and the way that people have battered Will Smith, at least over the last year, especially. There's been, like, a huge uptick in the way that, like, Will Smith has been portrayed um, yep. by, by others. Like, the way he's been... But that dude has been a laughing stock for a lot of memes, bro. Like, just... Un like, it's an unconscionable uh, ab amount of memes that really have his face on the front of it. That's gonna get to somebody sooner or later. Um, I, I think to sit up here and say that is is Jada's responsibility to grab him. That depends on what kind of relationship they have. Yep. That that depends on what kind of relationship they have. And the reason mm -hmm. why I say that is because I, I'm I'm like six foot two, over three hundred pounds. It don't matter what my wife grab my arm for. She can't stop me from doing what I'm gonna do. Right, she don't right, have the right. power to do that. And I'm right. not convinced. I, I mean, I don't really know Jada like that, but I, from everything, it looks like her stature. I'm not really too sure she gonna be able to stop Will if he had. I mean, it happened so fast, I'm and just, I don't I even would... know. I'm not really too sure she knew what he was about to do. I don't really know if she knew what he was about to do. He that might have been the first time he had a a, a moment like that. Mm -hmm. That it was like, you know, that was really evident to the whole world. And so, I, I mean, I understand where they're coming from, but that's really coming from a place of understanding what their relationship is like. So to your point, I, to your I, point. I, go ahead, Pete. Go ahead, Pete. I think, I think, too, what they want to see is they have, like, a desire to see him be protected as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, um, yeah, right. And, and I think that, you know, the public perception, depending on, you know, how much you even pay attention to that relationship, I don't a lot. But I'm not sure if that's necessarily the perception that or the role that she plays in people's eyes when it comes to that marriage. And I think at the at, when it boils down to it, if you really think about it, the reason why somebody wants to see her grab her arm is because we recognize that this man is broken. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like he not he's not okay. And you saying Russell, like the last year he's been putting out content being extremely vulnerable, showing his weight out of shape talk about he's at this worst space of his life physically or or you know these other things and i feel like those all have been partial signs because like i said before we hide a lot of our pain through our art you know what i'm saying Ooh. and i think he did that and i think he got supported for that criticized for crying called the punk all these different things and like you say that's gonna leave somebody to snap man but we got to talk about that. We got to talk about yeah. how a lot of men are out here seeming very polished for the greater good and inside we're not okay. We're not okay. All, do you all know if, like, have we heard through the rumor mill that he's actually seeing therapy or is his therapy the red table talks with his wife? Do we, do nah, like, I told her, uh, I, I told my manager yesterday, I said, nobody, like, his, his therapist ain't come out and say, like, yo, that's out of character for Will. Because his, his therapist would have been instantly fired. Mm -hmm. So my point is that, and that's why I think it's reckless for, I think it's really reckless for us, like, as a whole, to evaluate what Will got going on. Mm -hmm. Right. You can't. Like, it's, it's, really, can't. it's really dangerous. And that's why, like, I never forget, I saw this psychiatrist get on a, a like, a, a, you know, some Instagram thing talking about, I have never treated either one of these people as a patient, but let me go ahead and evaluate them. Do you understand how reckless that is? Right. You don't even know either one of these people. You don't know them from a fly on the wall. You never met them before. Don't know their shoe size. Don't know their birth date. Barely know the name of their kids, maybe. Don't know when their birthday, you know, when, when, their, uh, when their anniversary is. You don't know these people from a fly on the wall. And you sitting here passing judgment on people that you ain't never seen before. You ain't never seen them in person before. Never even came within 20 feet of them before. Don't know what they eat for breakfast. Don't know what their favorite food is. You don't know these people, man. You don't know what their triggers are. So speaking from, speaking from a therapeutic perspective, doctor, someone, someone put in here, uh, assess or diagnose the behavior, not the man. Is that something that is? Yes. I think, that's, I, I think the behavior is a component of the man. I think right, the behavior is a component of a man. But that behavior could be the component of any sex. A man, a woman, transgender man, transgender woman. It could be, the, it could be that, that behavior could be exhibited in anyone. Mm -hmm. 
There's nobody so, so, who's there's nobody who's exempt from from that behavior. So I, what, I, I, the root, I think, what the root cause? What the root cause of that behavior is? Most of us don't know. I mean, so we I'm, can I'm, speculate. I'm, hey, it's trauma. Hey, it's this. Hey, it's that. But you don't know. I do. I think we all know on this call that as a black man walking throughout America, the the, the weight that we carry every day is it is. It is ubiquitous. It is something that we carry every day. The moment we walk out the door, there's a weight that we carry that is sometimes unexplainable. You can't put no words to it. But you and know that it's bad. And I think that's that's why we can relate not knowing what's going on with them, though. You know what I'm saying? I think that's why I'm so compelled to like publicly say something about this shit because I don't know from a can of paint, but I know that fucking struggle and I know what broken feels and fucking looks like. You yeah, know what I'm saying? It don't, matter, it don't matter who you are on the planet, how popular you are. We know yeah. what that shit looks like if we identify it. So the thing I'm trying to get us to start talking about is why aren't we prioritizing those conversations over the jokes? I keep going back to that shit. Like, so you, do you like, think that... Like, yeah, I don't honestly... I haven't seen one meme yet that was funny. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be honest with y'all. There's this group of doctors that I'm a part of um, that I recently joined. And one of them put... Um, they put this meme where it was uh, Will slapping um, Chris Rock and it said on one side uh, income and residence and on the other side it said paperwork and it was basically like they slapping you with all this paperwork and I, and I couldn't even I, in my head I was like yo should I address this but then another part of me was like I mean I don't have the energy to address this because I'm still, I'm still healing me like I don't have time to sit up here and manage what you got going on because I got too much of me to worry about right now Okay, so Miss 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 T Marie O two says exactly. We're human and make mistakes. No one is perfect. People want these celebs to to be held to such a high standard, but they go through the same things we all face. I want to read another quote from another black woman that said, "He would have never done this if this was Billy Crystal." In every joke lies an element of truth. I'm curious as yeah. to why it's easy for us to transact random acts of violence toward each other. I'm curious yeah. as to why he wasn't thrown out. I'm curious as if there will be a ground for a groundswell for the cancellation of Will Smith. Nevertheless. We no longer have to be uh, curious or surprised as to as to why when foul shit happens to us that it's an uphill climb to receive justice. These two are supposed to be the best of us. What an embarrassment. Do you guys look at it like that? Nah. Nah. I, I, I'm going to tell you out the gate, ain't no such thing as no best of us. And, <laughs> and, <laughs> that's a real... It's a, it's, Bro, your mind got to be distorted to think that there's anybody on this planet that's better than you. You, you really got to be coming from a place of, you really got to be coming from a place of deficit. It don't matter if somebody worth a billion or they worth a hundred thousand or they worth chief or they worth whatever prince is worth. Bro, ain't nobody better than you. No, I, I completely hear you. I'm just giving perspective, fam. So let me ask you another question. We talked about this on one of the other podcasts about, you know, in that billionaire, that millionaire circle, like, you're not listening. We, we can't have, you know, millionaires they have in $10 conversations. Do you think there's somebody in his league, in his lane, that can, like, guns up? He's going to pull Will aside and say, yo, fam, it's about time you get some help. Or are you getting help? Or you need to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, is there somebody in his circle that's willing to talk to old boy and be like, fam, that, like, did you, I, like. I think I, they got people in his circle. I, I don't think he have a shortage of people in his circle who are willing to tell him he need help. But I'm going to tell you this, too. You can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make him think. I ain't say drink. I said you can't make him think. Mm -hmm. You can't make him think. At the end of the day, the decision as to what he going to do, that's up to him. But that dude that made way more mature decisions, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that dude, man, come on, man. Come on, man. That dude made a decision to sit there at a table with his wife and let her tell him about an entanglement. Man, listen, bro. That dude is not incapable of of, of choosing. Right. He not he not incapable emotional of emotional control, right? Yeah, right, he right, not right. he not incapable of that, man. He not man, bro. He not incapable of that, man. Listen, I think sometimes we give people a pass. Who? What? What am I giving you a pass for? I'm not giving you, bro. You you literally have you literally have nearly every resource on the planet at your at your fingertips. You you could have had a conversation with a therapist before you even walked into the Oscar about how your mind frame needed to be to be prepared for any kind of joke that came up. I'm glad we having this part of the conversation because 
this is a part that I really wanted to get to and and, and talk about because I, I I I appreciate acknowledging primarily and first and foremost that he need help. You know what I'm saying, and that we got to acknowledge this brother needs help, and we got to acknowledge each other off top as when these moments occur, rather than making jokes or finding the humor in it, finding out the the, the real serious parts. You know where they need help, but getting into this part on choices, I I I just wanted to kind of just I I totally agree with that shit. Like it was a choice, bro. For he sure, chose to behave like that. And so we got to start talking about that. And then another thing that, that trips me out is why was this whole shit allowed to be televised? Why did they not chop this shit? Why, you know what I'm saying, was there no protection? Why Why is this so normalized because it's two black men? And I, and I feel like I feel like the Oscars is, is kind of perpetuating maybe like a new style of exploiting our culture, to be honest with you. You know, this happens when, a, when there's a black a deep... director of the Oscars. I, you know, it, it's so many different ways to look at this shit, but we got to talk about, I agree, we got to talk about the fact that this nigga made a choice to go up there and do that shit. And when you start talking about it from that perspective, I don't feel it at all because I feel like it was a suck-ass move. You know, well, like so, the brother so, didn't pose any physical threat whatsoever. No, and, but he was waiting there with his hands behind his back, leaning in like, what's up? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, not not on, only man. that, but Chief, you, you, you made the comment about Billy Crystal, bro, but let's be honest, man. If that was anyone else, a Kevin Hart, uh, a Steve Harvey, uh, anybody else, bro. Yep. Never in a million years would that have happened. Let me tell you something, man. Think about this, bro. The, we having this conversation about whether or not what he did was accept, acceptable. If that was, if that was, if that was a uh, old girl from the Golden Girls. And she made that, that exact same. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle make that exact same comment. Bruh, Will Smith not getting up and slapping Dave Chappelle? Dave Chappelle gonna go on for another hour <laughs> about G.I. Jane. All right, so mm-hmm. let me ask you this. Why is that? Why is honestly, that? Honestly, honestly, yeah. man, let me tell you something. Let's let's have a real conversation right now, Chief sure. and Prentice. Listen, when I'm with my homies, I'm way more reckless about how I talk about them than I am to some people that I don't know that well. And that's mainly because I haven't learned how to purely just love them. I got to mix in some hate. I, I can't just purely 100% just love them and not talk reckless about them every once in a while. So, so the comfortability with which you, you got to have the, the conviction to get up and go slap a grown man on international TV where the whole globe is watching. It got to come in your moment. Of, in your moment. Listen, it got to come from a place of I'm going to slap you, and ain't, and you ain't going to do nothing, and ain't nothing going to happen to me. But only because it's you. And because, because it's it, me. Because, and, and because and, it's me. And because, it, listen, not only, no, 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 no. Not so much as much is, 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 is it because it's me, but it's because it's you. And I know you like that. But mm. you also mentioned earlier he was, he was operating in a, in a space of privilege. Oh, yeah, and he, he know. He know. But I'm saying, I'm saying from a privilege from a perspective of that's Chris Rock. That's somebody yeah, but, I know. So if I get up there and I smack the hell out of him, ain't nothing gonna happen. He, but he should at minimum have been escorted out of the Oscars. Like that's right. not okay, fam. You gotta and, go, and, and, bro. He he should have never been able to be allowed to go on the stage. He ain't receiving no award right now. If that was anybody else on the stage, anybody else. If that was anybody else in the whole audience, they would have escorted him out. Come on, man. You ain't gonna oh, make it up to the that. stage, Carlos bro. Carlos even got to the stage. Yeah, you, like, he, you, you ain't gonna never made it to the Listen, security would have stopped before you got up there. So the privilege he I don't know, man. was no, nah, bro. And nobody, it's nobody else, bro. It's nobody else. It's nobody. What's else. weird? What's weird to me is that the whole thing feel like it feel like watching a black man being given a pass on such a high level and being disrespected on such a high level at the same damn time. You know what I mean? It's like once you get past acknowledging what what Will Smith did and start thinking about Chris Rock, it's like. God damn that that was just disrespectful on, on such yeah. a deep ass level as a yeah. black man for another black man to come up yeah. smack the shit so, out of you. I and then you gotta show seen... that same resolve that we gotta have all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? And but you gotta do it on the at the highest level right now with all the cameras on. And you sit there and Bruh. you stand there and then you turn so, around and watch niggas call you a bitch online. What kind yo, of yo, you know that? what I asked? You know what I asked P and T? I said, "What was Chris Rock supposed to do?" 
I right. think what he was, was supposed, supposed to do what he like, did. He yeah, was supposed to do what he nah, did. But why? He low key, low key, balled his fist up and was like, exactly. "Wait, like, yeah, but but why though? But why? Like, why was he supposed to do it? Because I'm gonna tell you this right now. We was on the block, sir. You ain't gonna make it. No, sir. Sir, no, you ain't hey. gonna make it. Listen, sir. Even one over. of us, listen. One of us going to jail and one of us going to hell. One of yeah, us yeah, going to jail going to sleep. and one of us going to hell. Somebody going to sleep, my boy. Yep. Somebody's going to sleep. No, that's, that's anywhere a fact. else. Anywhere that's else, you about to catch a fade, my boy. And, and listen, the fact that you open hand slap me, son. <laughs> I feel like hey, that's worse than the punch, bud. Right? I'm gonna be better off punching him. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, when I saw that he slapped, I was like, oh, he slapped the nigga. No, bro. bro the every, disrespect every, is on. I don't know. I don't know a black man. I don't know a black man who not like yo. You yo. You punch me. That's something different. You slap me, saying one of us is going to jail and one of us is going to hell. <laughs> There's nothing to talk but, about. There's nothing to talk about. Yeah, so let me yeah. read y'all. Did y'all did y'all see both Chris Rock and Will Smith had apologies? They wrote apologies. Nah, for public apologies. Chris Rock's okay. apology that that was an authentic apology letter that he did, did not. Did you see it? Did you see it though? Yeah, I see. Did but you see it's it, not bro? real. It's not. Nah, real. it's not real. It's not real. Those things. He those things that. are fake. They not yep. fake. He ain't right there. That's fake. Yep. That's fake. That's not, that's fake, man. Ain't none of that an official communication. It's not an official communication. It's not. So the news. So on both parts, you saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah man. I don't know, man. Yeah, I feel like man. you got. I feel like by now you have to have a, a formal apology. You have to have that already ready already. Yo, yo, chief. Can I also say this? Why? Black, if you're not sorry. A, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly. That's true. But, but can I also say this? People always say the community part of being black is dead, but why are we all having this really rich discussion right now? So because we worry, because we worry, we like, yo, hold on. Them two brothers who we hold in high esteem is out of line right now. They out of line right now, and we need to at least have a discussion. And it ain't gonna be a family reunion. Not everybody gonna be invited. Somebody gonna pull them to the side and be like, yo, listen, both y'all sit down. Some OG. Some OG, I don't well, know you, if it's Denzel. You see or what Diddy said? What well, Diddy said? Like, yo, we gonna we gonna yeah, we gonna, we gonna yeah, holler at this yeah, later. Yeah, you think that happened? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure it will sooner or later. I'm telling you but, this much. I'm gonna tell you this much. Either it's gonna happen or somebody gonna get canceled. It's one of the two. Either you are gonna have that conversation or you are gonna get canceled. It's one yeah, of the but two. Will Smith because, ain't Kanye. Will Smith ain't like he ain't been out here doing all this wild shit. They ain't, exactly they ain't why he got away with it. Exactly. Which is why he got away with it. But but it also but it, it also doesn't say it also doesn't say that you get to you don't get a car blind, bro. Everybody got an OG. Everybody got an OG. Everybody got an OG somewhere who gonna pull them to the side and be like, T, they got somebody in your life who when they call you, if you don't answer, it's a different kind of problem. They got somebody in your in your life. P the same thing with you. They got somebody in your life that when they call, it ain't even so so who? You so who's the saying? big homie who can? Who's the bigger homie who can be like, "Yo, Will, it's time, fam." Because think about, it. Think, it about be this, think about all nah, the shit that y'all. we've seen. Think about all the shit that we've seen about his relationship. That's only the surface shit that we that we're privy to. It's got to be way deeper. So the trauma is so much more deep rooted in 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 part and part the reason why he did what he did. And how does how does my thing is like. We all go through our shit, and sometimes we be in the middle of it and not realizing it's depression or it's whatever it's called. How does he not see it? Do you think this is the eye opener for him to be like, "Yo, I really need to get some help," or is it, or is he gonna apologize and go on doing, keep doing what he's doing? I mean, but I think to print his point, to print his point, man, we can have these OG moments. What these OGs be like, "Yo, y'all need to squash this," but guess what? He still need to go to therapy all the time. Well, he, he 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 still need to be, he still need to be analyzed by somebody. Like let's just call it what it is. I'm so, telling you right now, he need to be managed by somebody right now. Cause cause I think the thing is, is that, and that's why I love this uh, all black men all black men need therapy platform, is because as I was telling Prentice when we first connected, I was like, yo, all I want to do is have a rich conversation with black men about what we need. Sometimes black men get so concentrated on what the world, like what everybody in their world needs, they think they got a hundred hands that they forget to take one of those hands and feed themselves. Right. And so eventually they just get cut off. They get cut off at the head. They end up with heart attack, diabetes, hypertension, strokes, whatever you want to call it. Right. And now the whole family is suffering because the head, the head of the house, right, the head of the community was suffering all along. 
He ain't take mm-hmm. care of himself. He ain't well, no, take care sure. of himself. And, and a sure. lot of times, because we don't take care of ourselves, it's hard for other people to think about taking care of us. Mm-hmm. And, and they ain't never seen you do trying. it. They ain't never seen you do it. Yeah. They ain't never seen that's... you. Nah, go ahead, P. No, I was just saying that's the definition of strength. That be, as as yeah. a man, that becomes your definition. How much right. can you that's, endure that's without so dropping your head? For us. Yeah. So the moment yeah. you drop your motherfucking head and you drop your head in the form of knocking out a nigga, we don't all get that privilege, bro. Like we don't, man. Like, do you know how fucking therapeutic? She, have you thought about how therapeutic that might have been for Will Smith, bro? Think of on that level, like nigga, I can't, I can't knock a nigga out. I can't do that and just go party and turn up. He did it in front of the world, man. Like, that's damage to me. But it's More also, than but any also, type of freedom. To Russell's point about the whole book thing with him feeling like a coward growing up because he didn't protect his mom from his dad. Like, this is this was almost a, a, a lifetime of vindication for him. You know what I'm saying? Cause somebody mentioned earlier, like, how he, why, why, why didn't he slap the, like, he slapped the dude who made a joke about his wife but didn't say shit to do with sleeping with his wife. But, hey, bro. To, that, but to that point, though, they both acknowledged that he never said that it was carte blanche. With, with, like, he didn't say we had an open door policy to, to roast Jada. He said he had an open relationship. He didn't say you had an open opportunity to just roast his wife whenever you feel like it. He didn't never say that. He said we in an open relationship or whatever they call that relationship. I don't, right, I don't right, actually right. know that much about the relationship, but you get what I'm saying? And whatever that means to them, I don't think he walked up to to uh to Chris Rock and said, "Yo, bro, listen, my open relationship also means that you can roast my wife whenever you feel like it, even if it means you roasting her on the largest stage we have in acting." Yeah, but when did so when did when did comedians get banned from making jokes? Like, and this nah, is no, it, I think there's a personal component to it. That's what so I was talking deep, about. So it's deeper than what we I know. think it's I think it's deeper than the joke. It's the fact that bro, Chris Rock is somebody that will know, right? He he may be expected that from someone. I, I think it goes to the point of if if one apprentice's best friends hit him, there's a chance for reconciliation. There's a chance for reconciliation, even if everybody watched, because we got history. Mm-hmm. Ain't no ain't no chance for reconciliation with somebody I don't know. Once I go down that road, ain't no coming back. I'm about to knock your block off, because we ain't never coming back from this. You already don't know me like that. But look, so listen, like it- my best friend... My best friend, bro, if I, I didn't, I didn't knock this dude over before, and me and him still best friends to this day. We could get over that. You can't get over that if I don't even does, know you like that. Does it change? Does it change being on international television though? If your homie just say your same homie you talking about slap the taste out your mouth on national television in front of my kids, like nah, because you know why? <laughs> because you know why? Maybe I understand what he didn't went through, which is why he fighting for sure. Exactly, and maybe I can take a step back and be like. What you did was messed up, but I'm going to give you a pass because mm-hmm. I know who you are as a person. I know you better than a lot of these people talking about you right now. You feel what I'm saying? Or, and so, or I know and, more than these people I know, who are watching. I know this. more. I know more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to give you this pass, but you're going to have to pay me on the back end for this one, my boy. I'm going to get a role somewhere that you're supposed to have, or we're going we gonna to have to – listen, you're going to have to pay up for this one, though. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to give me something for this one, bro. Because yeah, – so, so it ain't no squabble, and it, it ain't no you gonna have to see me after this. Like I let you get away with it in public, but we gonna we gonna have to meet in the back after this. No, nah, because it? because I think even in the moment, and this is me speculating, I think even in the moment, to some degree, as Prentice said, Chris Rock was like, "We'll talk about it later." But I'm not even about to go with you right now, cause cause you 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 know what? He honestly could have kept going at him. He oh he could have he could have torched that boy. Kept, Man, bro, what Chris Rock witty, bro? Chris Rock he is witty. That, man. Chris no, Rock is sure. one of the most talented. Bro, Chris Rock probably could have been in the. If we had a new Kings of Comedy, he up there. He up there. Him, Dave right. Chappelle, Kevin, uh, Kevin Hart. You know what I'm saying? Like them, them three is in the in the newest version of Kings of Comedy. Let's just no, call it sure. what it is. Each one of them, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, can stand on their own by themselves. Nobody even gonna touch them with the way they come at comedy and just how witty they are at the way that they do it. We ain't even having that conversation. So in all honesty, Chris Will knew that it, that was probably the only person he could come at like that. So Everybody, another, black, another black woman says, 
and I think this is to what we've been talking about the whole time, but I think we would all agree. She said, slapping Chris Rock was misdirected, misdirected anger and frustration behind becoming a joke, a meme, the poster boy for emasculation. By no fault of his own, Chris took that slap for everyone on social media who, who Will can't hit. Chris also took that slap because Will has improperly and effectively dealt with his anger and frustration with Jada. That's pretty much what we've been saying. Or do y'all agree or disagree with, with that? that I'll be willing to go deeper than that. I don't even think it's just data. I think even on vid. Let's just have... think about that. Let's think about that. They had a squad. You remember when there was a Say that again? who on vid was? I said, I, said, Viv, I don't even think it's just... with Aunt Viv and, and, and Will a while ago where they didn't talk for like 20 years or some shit, like, right? It was something, it was something crazy. Something happened with Aunt Viv and Phil, I mean, and, and Will, that they didn't talk for like 20 years. And then I think maybe like within the last two years, they had like a reunion type thing where they sat down and, and hashed it out, per se. I'm just saying, this ain't the first time that that Will didn't out, like, outwardly display his behaviors. Hey, yo, let me ask this you a question. This ain't the first time. Let's just call it what it is. This ain't the first time. And to Prentice's point, I'm not just giving you, a, like, you made a choice, bro. Like, you genuinely made a choice. No matter where, no matter where the basis of that choice came from, the same way you decide on whether or not you're going to take a role that's going to take you away from your family and, and keep you up all night to learn new lines and all that, you also made, you, you got to hit those same emotions to act in a movie. Those exact same emotions, you got to trigger those in a movie to really play a role that's going to end up getting you an Oscar. If you look at Richard Williams in, in, um, in that movie, bro, he had some angry moments in there. No, he did. He had some so, angry moments in there. Did yeah. you see him going slapping children around? You see him slapping the wife around? No. The, the white dude who, who helped him, did you see him slap him around? No. Come on, man. We got to get to a place where we at least own what we do. We got to own what we do, especially when we got everything at our disposal. Yeah, yeah, man. man. Real that's shit. shit. <laughs> nah, that's, 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 I mean, <laughs> that is profound. I mean, what can you say to that? You do. No, nah, you can't. You got to agree with that. I mean, it's, you do, but it's too easy. It's too easy to not talk about accountability. It's too easy not to. So you don't have to have the conversations. Niggas ain't trying to. That's too complicated, man. It takes too much. I don't know. For for a yeah, lot accountability of accountability is a hard conversation for us, man. man. It's a hard conversation for us no, because. It is. But it's, it, it, it's more so the rec- but, but yeah, before we can get there, it has to be the own, like the recognition of it, though. A lot of us ain't even recognizing what's going wrong or that we're going down this dark path. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Oh, defending his wife, ain't, you know, defending my wife, that ain't enough for me in that situation. You get what I'm saying? Like, we got to start redefining, like you said, what it means to protect black women. What does manhood mean? Because that was a long walk. You think about that, bro? Like, it took him a long-ass time. He had a long time to process. And his initial reaction... So, look, peep this. This is another thing people ain't talking about. He laughed at first. He did. So, he did. regardless of what's going on in his head, his initial response was humor for whatever reason, right? We, we don't know. Whatever reason. But the brother laughed at first. And for me, if I hear something that's offensive, my first instinct isn't humor and then to turn and look and see the displeasure of my wife to just make such a 180 so quick and have so much conviction during that yeah. walk to, to follow through with it i don't know bro like it, it tells me that something is wrong and i don't want to believe it's fake so i gotta look at mentally what causes a man to make those type of jumps so quick so, so, to your point about him laughing in the beginning, as you see Will laughing and bright, and laughing and bright, and her face is just pure annoyance. I do understand she lost her hair due to a condition and is a sensitive topic. However, once that camera was off them, I feel she scorned Will for laughing and maybe insulted him. She already has this man in a sensitive space because of her entanglement and saying that how unsatisfied sexually she sex she is sexually by him. To me, it seems like Will felt like he had to stand up for Jada so that he can be seen as a, as valuable and that he does not look weak in her eyes. Sadly, on the contrary, he looked even weaker and more broken. Her face after the slap was of enjoyment at the cost of her husband's wild behavior. And now he'll be, he'll be a meme again all over, all over a woman who doesn't truly seem to respect him. 
I'm losing all respect for Jada, especially as a woman. You are supposed to help your man elevate and stay positive, stay a positive course. She seems to be bringing him down. So this this black woman was kind of pointing the finger at Jada, but I think there's some valid points in there, though, bro. Like, I don't Hell know of- what she could, I don't know what she could have said to him in that moment, but I've definitely seen her like energy shift and obviously we didn't see what happened or what 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 happened in between but i do know he i felt he looked over and saw it on her face and felt compelled to respond and i think in my opinion that could be a sense of like gratification for him yo like bro, bro with, the, with, the decision to jump to 10 that's what i'm saying man like whatever 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 it was that sparked that from the laughter to the decision to get up that decision to jump to 10 man you got to you got to talk about that. Like, uh, how? You know what I'm saying? Like, how you get that quick? How you get there that quick? And, and yeah. full of conviction, bro. Like, you're making, you're walking the plank. Bro, <laughs> okay. Bro, so, let's, let's just say this, bro. Man, when when black men make such big decisions like that, bro. It'd be the worst. Most of bro. the time, bro. If you think about it, bro, every quick, deleterious decision you done made like that in your life, Chief, or Chief, bro. It's been a failure every single time. Yeah. It's been, bro. If I ain't never sat down and processed what I'm about to do, it ain't never worked out good for me, dog. It ain't yeah. never worked out good for me, bro. If you go see like all the homies, bro, how many? I tell you what, I was in the ER as a security guard back when I was an undergrad. I will never forget this, bro. They had a Tahoe come through, come rolling through the little, you know, the little drive-through area for the emergency mm-hmm. room. All the doors swung open. And like eight black bodies just rolled out like bowling balls, gunshots everywhere, bullet holes in every last one of them. Four out of four out of the eight died. All kids. The dude who did it was like 21 years old. He was like 21 years old. And it was a quick decision. Like, yo, they insulted me, went, got a gun, went to a party and just started spraying. Come on, man. That ain't never been a good thing for us. It ain't never been a good thing for us. Because we also got a whole bunch of built up historical trauma that we're dealing with. So we got to process through all that before we make decisions. Literally, all of that. The trauma between me and my father's relationship. The trauma between me and my friend's relationship. The trauma between me and my mother's relationship. The trauma between me and my grandfather's relationship. The trauma between me and my grandmother's relationship. The school I went to, the, the, the fights I saw as a kid. Bro, there's so much trauma we got to process before we make such huge decisions. And so when you see somebody make a crazy decision like that, bro, you got to say to yourself, bro, listen, no matter how powerful he is, no matter how much money he has, no matter how fine his wife is, no matter how much money they got, bro, he need help. He need help. That's no simple. Black, if you a black man and you looking at that and you saying to yourself, yeah, I can't see my grandfather looking at that and being like, oh, that was a good decision. You, yeah, you did it. You, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, good I can job, see my son. grandfather being, yeah, I can see my grandfather being like, you probably should have caught him in the stairwell. Right. Pulled mm-hmm. up on him. But like, not in front of the cameras. Because think about this. Trayvon Martin. Trayvon Martin got killed. He ain't even do nothing. Hmm. Oh, so somebody he, here just said, go ahead, go ahead. He ain't even do nothing. He didn't do nothing. He ain't make no bad decision. And he got killed. Come on, man. He Trayvon didn't get an opportunity to process what was going on. Somebody this here man, said, Nobody can argue with me that Will Smith didn't have an opportunity to process what he was about to do. He did. He had that fucking walk. He had. Come he had on, plenty man. of time to process. He had time, bro. bro. He had time. Right. He had time. Some somebody said I think he showed restraint by only slapping him. What? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, if let's I, let's like, let's we, let's touch on that again. We, we talked about this earlier. Just to be clear, there's there's no even debate to this. There is extra disrespect with a man you slap. slapping you across your face. <laughs> There's no debate. Yeah. There's not. Yeah. We're not even going to do that. You don't yeah. slap a man in his face. Yeah. Like, no. I'd rather a cat punch me with a closed fist than slap me across my yeah. face. Yeah. If you slap me, it's a whole different ball. So let's keep going, bro. Just keep going. Yeah. Just let's just keep rolling because that ain't it. That ain't it. No, all, all that I was ain't it. Okay, so. The point forefront was, was that, yo, that dude had an opportunity when you got other cats 
who didn't have an opportunity and they lost their life. This dude smiling and talking about he did it in love. When he accepted his Oscar, he said it was in love. Sometimes love will make you make these decisions. Nah, homie. Nah, homie. Nah. Mm. Love is an love is an action word. Word. Was right. he referencing? Was he referencing? Was he? Re I remember that little. I didn't. I was at work at the time. But was he referencing the actual incident when he was talking about that particular part about love? Or was he talking about the movie? Nah, I thought he was talking he, about right. I thought he was talking about the moment. Like love okay. will make you do something like that. Man, love mm -hmm. ain't gonna make you do nothing like that, man. Yeah. Stupidity will. Yeah. Stupidity, toxicity will. Trauma yeah. will. Trauma will. Right. I irresponsibility will. Privilege will. Thinking yeah. you're going to get away with it, Will. Knowing mm -hmm. the person you about to do it to, Will. Look, homie, you got some homie. You remember when you was growing up, Chief? You had some kids in the neighborhood that you could talk wild to and ain't nothing going to happen to you. You know that was going to happen. You could push them. You could beat up on them. Like, ain't nothing going to happen to you. And then you got some people, bro, every time you're around them, you talk a certain way. You talk. They all, you always talk nice to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what no, I'm saying? Sure. And I, and, so who? And I, Nah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I say I'm just I'm because I'm listening right now. Now, if the, if Will was in the chat right now, I think the the three of us not knowing him and not having any ties to him would deliver this shit straight to him just like that. Yeah. No chase. No chaser. Yeah. Do you like I mean, when you get to that status? Yeah. Do you think the people still speak to him this same way? I think those people who do might get ostracized because there ain't nobody really ready for that. Most people not ready for that. Most people once they get status. They only want people around them who going to make them even more status field. So, yes, man. He, he's surrounded by a bunch of yes men who ain't going to switch. Yes, listen, Jackie, I don't know but imagine, uh, imagine being so broken that you can, in the Oscars, slap the fuck out of Chris Rock and party after. Bruh. Think think about that dynamic. Think, think yeah, about gotta, that. that pre think, think about that, bud. Like, you got to go home. I'm right? damaged. And I just slapped the shit out of Chris Rock at the Oscars, and nobody did nothing. What is that? What is that? What does that say? You know what I mean about where we're at as far as like black men, black culture, what we're choosing to talk about about it. So, Niggas is getting slapped at the Oscars now, and we're making fun of it rather than being like, "Yo, why aren't we that ain't right. whoever for so allowing this shit to happen?" P, you make, you Why are we not really having that point? conversation? Because it's a black let's, director? I don't give a fuck. And he's an alpha. Let, that don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, bruh, you Groovy, black. Why is this happening on your watch? Groovy Grady, Groovy Grady Cook said people pick their victims. Yeah. And that's that's 100 percent true. 100 people pick true. their victims. Vic, pick, people pick their victims. If you think about and, it, damaged parents, damaged oh, parents, right? Damaged parents will pick on their weaker children. Let's just keep it 1,000. Damaged parents will pick on, whoop, beat, and punish their weaker children. The children who don't who don't exhibit all of those alpha characteristics. Mm -hmm. They will. Like, parents will do that. So men with men, like, men going to look for a man who I can sit up here and, man, you done seen men with each other. Once they see a man that they could, they could really abuse, who, who they roasting? Yeah, of course, and you go to everybody all at once. Group chat on fire. Hey, but and I Come think on, I think he got away with it because Chris Rock represents us as black men. Don't nobody care so, if we get smacked. If somebody smacked the fuck out of us on national TV. You know what I mean? Like there's no there's no consequence to fucking up a black man, especially if you are a black man. You know what I'm we saying? Have take better, be we have to take arms. better care of each other. We got to take better care of each other in terms in moments of 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 of, of sensitivity and vulnerability. So, for example, we in this chat, and I say, "Listen, fellas, like my feelings are hurt." And you, and, and the response is, "You saw, nigga, buckle up, do some push." We do that buckle sometimes, up. though, but we you know do. What I'm we no, but, <laughs> but in the same token, you guys are you'll, you'll like we do that, P, and it's, and we make light of it. But in this, I know I can trust you guys to hear me. We'll make jokes about it, but you'll hear what I'm saying. And, oh, and absolutely, you'll, yeah, we'll you'll, deal you'll with empathize it. Empathize and show some compassion. We don't show enough yeah. compassion as men. Period. Yeah. Nah. Period. Nah, it like nah. like we're 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 scared to say that uh, that uh, we we give a fuck about something other than what we're told to give a fuck about. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. too many of us are are scared to say like, yo, I don't want to laugh and joke about. it. I want to talk about what's wrong with that man, so we can start to look at ourselves and figure out what's wrong with us. Yeah, we don't do. That. We don't. We so you made a good point. I want to shift the, the the question a little bit. 
You talk yeah. about the, the, you talk about the impact it had on the culture. What do you think the little black boys watching this are taking from this? Hey. Hey, hey, Russell, I'll let you I'll let you do that, man. I know we got a couple minutes. We got rap in a minute, but I, I want you to answer that. Bro, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna tell you this much, man. We 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 talk about like wanting examples that inspire our young black boys, right? To become the kings that they one will be one day. Nobody in that right mind wants a king to behave that way. Because kings are always going to be under pressure. Kings are under pressure the moment they put the crown on. They under pressure the moment they put the crown on. And the, and the one thing they have to make sure they do is obviously surround themselves with people who going who going to keep them in the right space. Because they the king, they got to lead. But it's hard to lead when you're reckless, bro. It's hard to lead when you're that reckless. So it's hard to lead those young black boys when you're that reckless. It's right. hard for you. It's it's hard for me to be convinced that some young black boy is gonna look at that and be like, "That's a good example of how I'm supposed to behave." Or not even and a you, good it, example. They're not gonna think of it as good. They're gonna they're gonna follow that example because you got kids. You know what? Sometimes emulate. it's not about what you say to them. They're gonna emulate. Yeah. Yeah, well, let it be an example, right? and that's what I mean. Like, let's not laugh at it. And let it be an example of what happens when you don't handle your shit, and, and when you and, got and other shit going on, and that money right. ain't fucking everything, and that fame. Yep. I mean, you got to use it for what it is, bro. You know yep. what I'm saying? I got, yep. you know what I'm saying? I got, I got a, I got a, I got a co-parent with somebody. I got to use as an example right now. It's a yep, harsh right. fucking reality, but yo, he's human. So let's strip that image, bro. We got to. So what? So what? He's a celebrity. So what? What's making yep. this brother act like this? Because when you take away his money, the same situations occur within all of us, man. Absolutely. But, you know, I, I will say this, man, and, I, and I'm and i going to be honest. I know some people might not like me for saying this, and I understand that we always, like, commonly, as a culture, I hear this all the time. You know, black people laugh to, to, to fend off some of the trauma we're dealing with. That may be true. But not everything is funny. I'm going to tell you that right man. now. Not oh, everything cool. is funny. Dang, that's that's funny about that. And I told somebody this. I said, God forbid he even attempts suicide. Nobody going to be laughing at these memes anymore. Yeah, these memes not going to be... Ain't, ain't, none of these memes going to no be funny. None of these memes going to be funny. It's always funny until it ain't funny no more. My mom yeah, used to say, what will make you laugh, what will make you laugh will also cry. make you cry. Yeah. And, I, and I think this is one of those moments where you're going to find some black man who like, bro, this ain't funny. From the moment it happened, yeah. I told my homie, I told my homie who sent it to me, and I think I found out at like one o'clock in the morning. I said, ain't nothing funny about this, bro. I say this nope. is this is a broken situation and it's gonna be a problem for us. It's gonna be a problem for us, and it's something we need to address. And they was like, Man, this is funny. And you go on Twitter, and obviously they got a million memes, and I'm like, Yeah, because we think everything is funny. And it's always well, they... funny. And then you know, somebody pointed this out, they was like, Oh, you know, alopecia. Like, that's the thing. I was like, but we've been making jokes about obesity, and obesity is a disease. I think it was Miranda who said that. Like, my my uh, my homegirl, Miranda, she was like, yo, obesity is a disease? We've been talking about, like, we make jokes about fat people all the time. Mm -hmm. But the moment somebody got alopecia, all of a sudden, oh, this, now we need to protect black women. When black women have it, come on, man, black women get paid less than everybody else in the whole world. But now we want to protect black women. Black women getting raped at rates, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Sexual assault, domestic ab abuse, come on, man. Come on, man. Let's yeah, just be honest sure. about this. It's just a trigger thing. It's just a trigger thing. It's like it's like Black Lives Matter or um, any of these other hashtags. It's just sound. It just sound cool. But at the at the core of it, it's like man, it's just a fad, bro. Two weeks from now, we ain't gonna be worried about whether or not Will slap Chris Rock. But black right, still, right, because it's gonna be because because some new shit gonna happen because because yeah. some new shit because a football it's, player gonna hit his exactly, wife in the elevator man. or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Another black. So one thing that ain't it's, that ain't a cliche hashtag and that ain't you know that ain't redundant and that ain't for play play is all black men need therapy. Yeah, straight That's up. That ain't that ain't for straight play up. Play. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. regardless of where it stems from, we we can all benefit from it, man. We gotta stop looking at you know being too afraid to be seen as soft and whatever. We gotta take <laughs> take care of our mental. As my man, my, my Sean Lynch said. Like yeah, all yeah, black man. rough out here, yo. It ain't no Straight black up, man, man in this world who don't need therapy. Ain't no black man with enough money to not need therapy. I'm gonna tell you that off the gate. It ain't no so black cool. man on planet Earth that don't need therapy. It ain't none of us, dog. 
Ain't Straight no up, bro. Stroke. So go get it. Hey, man, Russell, we're going to have you back on, man, but we appreciate your time, man. And, you know, publicly, brother, we are we are proud of you, man. And, you know, publicly, again, like I told you, I said publicly, man, that shit made me cry, bro. And no, I've well, never I seen definitely. a black man give himself the permission you gave yourself, man. And that's why I hit you. That's why I got your fucking number. That's why we about <laughs> to be friends, my guy. Like, real life friends. So, my dog, so, Pete. We low-key... I low key like said for real. Russell gonna be like the resident therapist on the All Black Men Need Therapy podcast. So we gonna put that into fruition, yo. We gonna we gonna move we, in a good direction. We gonna figure something out, man. Nah, we gonna figure real. something um, out, man. But we appreciate your time, bro, and, and we really proud course, of you, man. man. And thank you for your so, input. We gonna keep chopping it, man. And uh, you know, we thank everybody for tuning in. All that good stuff, Chief. Go I ahead. I think man. they can see Russell. I think they can see your IG. Yeah, they can. Name, but tell them, tell them anyway. Y'all go ahead and follow Doctor Russell today. What's your IG handle? At Dr. Russell Leday. Um, and y'all know, y'all know yeah. at Prentice Powell 1906. I'm at Chief the Poet. Bellhead is at All Black Men Need Therapy. He's not here right now. Shout out to the homie Bell. Yo, yeah, yeah. Uh, hit us hit us up with some emails, some DMs. Let us know what y'all thought about the conversation. We are uh, on all social media outlets at All Black Men Need Therapy. All Black Men Need Therapy at gmail.com. We appreciate y'all. Our next, uh, one of our next couple episodes will be featuring Dr. Russell today, we're going to have an intense conversation Doctor. about cele- about <laughs> celebrating yourself because we are reluctant to do that. Um, <laughs> per usual, y'all, we always say, we're going to keep saying it, do us all a favor and hug a black man today. Yes. Do it. And tomorrow. Yes. Do yes. it. Yes. Yeah, we out. All right, y'all, we out, man. Appreciate, Appreciate you, time, you bro. We'll tap in, man. All right. For sure.